evening, everybody. My name is Herbert Ravitch. I'm president of Los Angeles Pierce College. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to our program this evening. I would like to begin by posing a question. What is a poet? And I would like to try and answer that question. In one way, a poet is a very ordinary human being. And that is as it should be. In fact, the more ordinary, the better. The poet is born into a family, grows and learns about life through success and failure, through pain and pleasure, through discovery and delight, even as all of us do. And that is as it should be. That allows the poet to speak to us about what we know. That allows us to recognize
spare me your refrigerated beauties. Give me devil's paintbrushes instead. Color screaming Earth's fertility, strange, wild, and strong enough to laugh at the dead. Part of the whole. Her lips, heavy with liquid remembrances, smile and into smile. Her long eyelids hide the shine on her eyeball. But nothing hides the elliptical curve of her breast. She luxuriates in the movement of her slow walk, recognizing the rhythm, the never subdued pulsing of the hermaphrodite earth. I shall miss most when I am old. The cup of your fingers under my breast. I know this pain a little in morning departures from which I dare not call you back. These school me for death and teach me philosophy. All good meetings are by accident. All parties fertility. But no green verdure marks this beach. No fish swim in this sea. 
the beaters are an old man. Hail poets and proud lovers, hail the American hero, hail the sated man, you whose passions burn with self-consuming flames, arrest the meteor-like race of your blood long enough to honor a wiser metabolism. You have taught beauty, and more than beauty, secret signs, and more than signs, justice, yet you remain secret, while in a garden Lucretius might envy, with a moderation Aristotle could applaud, at the suitable instance, the fruits of a busy world, and at his need turns man's need for literature into sale, and man's need for love into symbols for a spring song. As Jesus is to the tulip, is the tulip to him. For both are will, fructified, leaping toward heaven.
If my hair in tendrils blows round and round like curling feathers, if I'm tinted pinky brown like a rose from summer weather, if my eyes are wanton sweet, hoping that my love will meet me, can caprice and spring and God permit a stubborn man to cheat me? All my students know the term carpet diem, which means seize the day. It's a very popular theme with me and with a lot of poets, with a lot of people indeed. This poem is called Carpe Diem. On this April shining day of a numberless year, thinking of all the Such is your wealth, rest no longer empty, spring to your touch, eyes brimming speak for lips that cannot muster much. Like a fertile field absorbing a late rain while trembling before the unaccustomed onslaught, I receive you. Laugh as the heavens must laugh at the bending, shrinking stalks, knowing nothing can be more welcome than the storm.